And it seemed to be just one mind controlling all the females. So whatever one male learned, they all learned. And then same with the females. Fictional book, but it's very thought provoking. The conclusion was that it was two separate hive minds. And one of the characters kept saying, well, I could only think about like Adam and Eve. What I liked about it was that it wasn't the traditional understanding of Adam and Eve being man and woman, one entity. He was speaking more about the consciousness, the mind that controlled all these bodies. Over and over again, I keep getting messages from people who are saying things like, I think I am you. At first it was a bit unsettling. And then it just became sort of like, okay, I should pay attention to this. Because if you focus on just the body, then it doesn't make any sense. That sentence of, I think I'm you, doesn't make any sense. But if you start thinking beyond the conventional understanding of what reality is, and then we start thinking about collective consciousness, shared consciousness, mind, and what that means. Can one mind inhabit many forms? You know, the, the, the one electron hypothesis, for example, right? Is everything just one electron? Are all electrons just one electrons? sort of moving through space time simultaneously all right now, you then start to get a different perspective on reality, on people. See, if I can have a thought that seemed like an errant thought that happened to perfectly match what somebody else is thinking miles away, is it that hard to believe that there are certain groups of people who are collectively one mind? having various experiences. We already believe in the concept of the collective consciousness. Like that is echoed through out Buddhism and Hinduism, right? It's all Brahma. But can you pull that down and then can you make it even smaller groups? Like are there small groups of like 100,000 people with one mind just acting through different bodies, having parallel experiences, thinking the same thing simultaneously? When you sit with that, all of a sudden life doesn't feel so alone, does it? If you know that even if you are in one body, in one mind, you are also <laughs> several minds in several bodies, if not more. I don't know what the number is. Woo!